Keep in mind, the output at pin 3 always logic high. So when I turning on the switch, then the output at pin 3 will be logic high, causing the current flowing from pin 3 through the diode and flowing through 100 ohms resistor, then flowing through the lead and back to the ground. Since the pin tree is logic high, when I press the button 2, then the current flowing through pin number 14. Then causing Logic low at pin number 3 and logic high at pin number 2. So when I press the button 1, then the current again flowing through pin 14 and causing logic low at pin 2 and logic high at pin 4. So when I press the button 3, then the current flowing again through pin 14 and causing pin number 4 logic low and pin number 7 will be logic high. Since pin 7 is logic high, so when I press the button 4, then the current again flowing through pin 14 and pin 7 will be logic low and pin number 10 will be logic high. Since the output at pin number 10 logic high, then this current flowing through the base of the BD-139. Then, the collector emitter acting like a closed switch. So the current from the battery flowing through the lead to energizing the coil of the relay switch and flowing through the collector then goes out from the emitter then back to the ground. Then the relay switch will be shifting from normal close to normal open, then causing the AC current flowing through the common terminal and flowing through normal open terminal, then flowing through the light bulb and back to the AC source. So the passcode 2, 1, 3, and 4 to activate the relay switch. You can press any button, but the circuit will be not activated. So let's test the actual circuit.